Right, this is a video all about pour overs. Um, I'm going to throw one in a second, but first I wanted to talk about uh, the proportions to which you throw them. Because this is a V60, which is sort of the most, probably the most common, but definitely comes highly recommended and is quite a common shape. And a lot of the filters, like this one, 90 degrees, uh, will be a variation of this which fits perfectly in the V60. Um, and I started throwing them to match this height and diameter because uh, that seemed like an easy way of making sure everything would fit. And the first ones that I threw were the same. And then over time, without me really realising, I started to throw them slightly wider because I prefer the shape of it, as I was throwing it, that looked more right to me than the narrower ones. I preferred it when it was wider, except that the filter doesn't fit anymore. It leaves a gap at the top because the angle is too far out. It fits at the bottom, doesn't fit at the top. Um, that means it doesn't brew as well. So I've had to kind of go back and make sure that um, I'm throwing them correctly. So I made myself a guide, which I did very simply, just by getting some scrap bits of cardboard and lining them up in the V60 um, and sticking them together. So that's what that is. Um, but I wanted to do a slightly better version of it. So what I've done, and then this is one that's um, thrown with it. So filter fits correctly, fine. It's quite handy having something you can just check as you're throwing uh, and then I've got a mark on to show what the final size to, should be. Um, I check the measurements because it's called a V60 because it's at 60 degrees. Uh, that is measurably correct as well. It's This is a two cup version, it's 11 centimetres across the top and if you measure the length of the filter going down that's 11 centimetres too. So what you're looking for is an equilateral triangle with all sides 11 centimetres, which is very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one together in Illustrator so you've got a printable template with shrinkages on them. So obviously if you want it to end up 11, depending on um, how much your clay shrinks, you'll have to throw it a bit bigger. So what I'll do is I'll scale it up so there's notches marked on it to so you know where to throw to for any given clay shrinkage but i'll do that as a pdf um i'm hoping i'll talk to nikki at hartley and noble who makes the um bat system i use to see if they're interested in cutting any um probably out of this six mil board would do um, just a, a shape that you can hold down, it's quite nice having that cross brace so you can hold it and check. But this is how I show my pour overs and obviously um, I've done a few videos on them before but this will have the um, that proportion component addressed as well which before it's always just been what looked right to me um, which obviously started correct but over time I shifted in my head what correct looked like, which is why having a guide is always helpful. Uh, and the more precise you can be with your guides, the better, because um, you're unlikely to hit it perfectly each time. But if you know that if you did, it would be perfect, that's better than having a guide that's about right and then you don't know if you miss it by a small amount, whether you've missed it in the direction that it was better or worse, whereas when it's perfect, you know, the closer you are, the closer to perfect you are. So, this is how I do it. Centre the clay. I'm still finishing off that really stiff bag I was complaining about yesterday. So, this is putting up more of a fight than this clay normally would. But, um, I open the clay out and then bring most of it back in, leaving behind what's going to become the base. Um, so that's about a centimetre thick, a little under, 
Um, I'm throwing these with 550 grams of clay, uh, which is seems to be about right. I don't leave too much on the bottom to trim off. If you want to trim more off, you'll have to throw with more clay. But, um, seems to work quite well to make a two cup sized V60 shape. This is a bit like throwing off the hump. I have opened the clay all the way down to the base uh, and then just pulled the cone up and out. I've got to be a bit delicate because obviously you've given yourself a very narrow base to work from. But as long as you don't make any sudden movements, don't try and pull up too fast. Um, it's generally all right. And I covered this in a previous video, but the difference between a pour over and a dripper is the size of hole at the bottom. Uh, a pour over is designed to not restrict the flow of coffee through the bottom at all. Right, so that is actually pretty close. You can't really sit so if I hold it like that, you can sort of see. Um, if I just even the wall out because there's a slight wobble in it, uh, that angle's pretty good. Yeah, if you um, a pour over will allow the coffee straight through. And the idea is it's the grind that you use that determines the brew time. So a finer grind will allow the coffee through slowly, um, meaning right, that's actually a fraction wider than I want at the top, but this is going to be a Nautilus one. So the slip will space things out slightly. So that is fine. The main thing is you don't want to deviate too much from correct. Um, yeah, the coffee controls the speed of the brew. What that does mean is if you're buying pre-ground coffee, um, you might not get the speed you want, and if you can't control the grind, then there's nothing you can do about it. Whereas a dripper has a few small holes that mean that the coffee passes through slower and it doesn't actually matter so much about the grind of the coffee but the flip side is going to get so much control. So depending on who's using it and how, um, the different options make sense. So the point of all of that was that if you were making a dripper you would not open all the way to the base, you would open to say a centimetre above the bat and then once it's leather hard you drill one or two smaller holes which would slow the speed of the brew and mean that you could use any grade of coffee on it. But that is that and that is significantly well it's about I would say 15 or so percent bigger than the mark that shows how big the, um, the V60 is, which means that it'll shrink down to about right. The height isn't crucial, the angle is more important. You want to be about right for the height, but as you saw when I put the filter in the V60, um, it, it's not a perfect fit anyway, it overhangs slightly. I'm not sure if that's to make it easier to remove or if it's just you know, one of those things where there's a bit more variation in the filters or or what, I don't know. It would make sense that they make them slightly bigger so they're easier to remove, but I, I genuinely don't know if that's the case. Uh, and then I'll just wash my hands and show you how the yeah. underneath. I've got a trimming video, so I'll link that below. But what I do is I trim into the meat that's left 
um, where the, the 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 angle meets the base. So there's a lot of clay there. So you can trim into that so that there's a recess, which means it gives it like a spout lip to that part. And then a raised bit, you can see there, uh, so that when it's on a mug, it won't slide off. And then that angle that I kick up at the edge gives it a bit more stability, makes it easier to hold on to. And when I say stability, what I mean is like a bowl will hold its shape better than a plate, it's less prone to warping. Same with that, so when you wire it off, it won't bend up as much, and in the firing it won't warp as much, just because the fact it's got a lip on it gives it some stability, and also you know, makes it easier to handle. And then on really big mugs, it will nestle down slightly in them, so it's not at risk of just slipping off, which it might be otherwise, but the main thing is the stability. So you can see there an unglazed one, which might be clearer. Or might not be, because it looks like that's probably going to be overexposed. But there you go.